Today, we're going through my sweaters and figuring out what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping. Um, good morning. It's 11.18. I have been on a cleaning out my closet and organizing my apartment, like getting things done situation. I've gotten to the point where I have to go through my sweaters. Um, I did this a few weeks ago, but I think I like, I have accumulated other things since then and also like, I think I really did a bad job of actually getting rid of things. I was like, oh, with this sweater, like, what? I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. Why would I get rid? I'm like, if I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, it means I don't like it and I should like get rid of it. So, um, I'm gonna make a coffee. I'm gonna eat some breakfast. We're gonna go through my sweaters. Let's go. Okay. Coffee? Do I want iced coffee? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my eggs are wet. I guess it is what it is. Okay, so here's what I'm expecting. I think I have multiple hoodies that I need to get rid of because I really only wear one. I have one new sweater that I love. See, I feel like I have multiple sweaters that I really like the idea of, but they're like thrift store vintage sweaters, and so they're just like not really that comfy, like they're not really soft. You have to like layer sweaters underneath them, and I just feel like like, I really like them, but they're a very specific vibe, and it's very, like, poor, dark academia scholar in his time off, or something. It is very, like, fall Christmas, but see, so I just feel like I have too many of those, so I need to get rid of some. Alright, um, now that we're breakfasted, let's get the sweaters. Oh, I'm nervous, I don't want to get rid of any of them. I would like to recognize and acknowledge the fact that this is a lot of sweaters. That's the whole reason we're here. Okay, so I say let's just begin. <sighs> Starting from the top. This is my favorite hoodie. I wear it all the time. Um, I feel like I have no reason to get rid of this. This sweater is my pride and joy. I tried it on at cost. It was really expensive. I cried a little bit because it was so expensive and then I went on Vinted and I found one in my size being sold for half the price. So, I'm so excited to wear this this winter. Keep. Now, on the red sweater topic. This red sweater, I thrifted. It's fine. It's not great, but I also think it can be cute with like a white shirt underneath kind of sticking out. It's nice that it's like small. It's not super long. I feel like most of my sweaters are too long for me. Let's put her in the maybe pile. This is my favorite sweater. It's just everything about it is great. Definitely keep. This sweater vest, I don't know what to do with. It was given to me by Surprise Paris. It fits me really funny. I feel like the armpits are a little bit too big for me. And I feel like I want to wear it with like a collared shirt underneath. But when I do that, it looks funny because it's like, it's really fuzzy, but it's like a thin knit. It makes me sad but I'm gonna sell it. This one I think I wanna keep because it's like, it's really soft and it's thin and it just feels really nice and I feel like I don't have anything like it. All right, cape. This other sweater from Surprise Paris. I love it. I saw a picture of me the other day wearing it and I was like, I don't look very good, but that doesn't matter. I'm keeping it anyways. I just got this recently and I think it's great. I also don't think that I have anything similar to it. I really like this like pattern and I think it's super cute. I was never a cardigan girl before this, and then I got this cardigan, and I was like, hmm, kind of good. I really like doing it up all the way to the top. I like that the neck hole is really small, because I hate when a cardigan has, like, a wide neck. I really don't like that. So, keep. This sweater, I love the idea of. I bought it online. I thought it was going to be a lot larger than it is. I got an extra small, because, 
like usually extra small is kind of big on me and I wasn't expecting it to be like a skin tight extra small. So I think I'm gonna resell this and maybe get it in like a medium. I don't know, it is a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna be too. I feel like it's a cute idea though. I don't know, we'll see. But, so. I feel like I'm always like, this is the perfect hoodie for wearing to the beach on like a chilly day at the beach and I'm wearing like bathing suit and shorts and a hoodie and it's so cute but and I did that before and it was so cute but like am I gonna wait another year to do that again do I need to keep this hoodie because this feels very like summer it's this really nice wash it's like this bluey gray and it's where they like dye it after after making it so it makes it like it feels very like I don't know I just don't know what to do with this hoodie I think I need to get rid of it though because also like to wear it in the winter, it looks really weird under jacket. Yeah, I'm getting ready. So, my baby, I'm so sorry. I'm like taking the ones that I know I'm keeping because I don't have to make any decisions. This has been my favorite sweater for years. I got this when I first moved to Europe. Um, I've been obsessed with it ever since. I just think it's so perfect. I also feel like this sweater is very me of me. Like I feel like I've worn this sweater so much, I've never gotten sick of it. It is a little bit itchy, but like, whatever. It hangs really nicely. I painted a wall in it so it has a little bit of paint on it, but it just like is my most, this is like my most cherished possession. So, we're keeping her. I love this sweater and I will be keeping it. It's my only sweater that has like a zip up turtleneck. I really enjoy wearing this under like a leather jacket. I feel very like, I met a lady from New York to do a photo shoot with her for her fashion brand and she was like, oh, you look so New York. And I was like, do I? Thanks. It's also like this kind of fuzzy, oh, I just love it. I feel inclined to keep it. I think it's part cashmere. I feel like it's cute. It's really thin. I can wear it like under a leather jacket. Is it cute though? I don't know. I think it's nice. I'm going to keep it. Banana Republic. Silk cashmere. Okay. I have to keep it. Actually, no, that's a bad reason, but I do like it. Okay, keep. I just thrifted this. It's the, like, teddy bearish, like, sheepskin kind of material. It's really, really soft. I feel like I want to keep it because... Oh, no, I knocked over my keep pile. I don't have anything else like it, but I also am like, this is not really my style. Maybe that's fine, though. Okay, for now, I'm keeping it. I think it's really, really cute in theory. But the arms are a little bit short, and it's also one of those weird sweaters that has, like, windbreaker material inside. Um, I just feel like it has potential, but it's not for me. This one, I know this is, like, a little too big for me. It is really comfy, though. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the maybe pile. This sweater I feel confused about because I know that I wear it all the time in the winter, like, under other sweaters, so I know that I need to keep it. Um, I just am always like, it's so tiny, it's like skin tight, but I'm like, actually, I think this just fits me like a normal sweater and I'm used to them being really big. I'm gonna keep it, because it's good for layering, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. I love this sweater. It's like super faded, um, black, like, sweatshirt material. It does have some stains on it. Um, I thrifted it like this, so it has some, it looks like grease stains. I feel like it'd be cute if I like paint something in this and it gets a little bit of paint on it because then I feel like that'll distract from like the grease stains. Keep. This sweater causes me great problems. I haven't really been in my turtleneck loving phase. I used to wear like tight thin turtlenecks all the time. In like 2018 this was like my go-to outfit, you know? I just feel like I don't really like it anymore. But I also feel like I should keep at least one for when it's really cold out and I can like wear this under another sweater. like. Like, is this cute or is this weird? Isn't it kind of weird? You know what, I'm gonna keep it and I think I will also keep this sweater because I think it's a really cute color. Keep, keep. This sweater is so thick and so warm and it also makes me think of like Christmas and so I'm keeping it. Spider, oh my God. No, where is it? Ah! This sweater is not great quality, it's from Pull and Bear, but I feel the need to keep it because it's my only black sweater, so I think that I will. And it's like, fine, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't even like black. I'll keep it. I'm feeling a little depressed one day. 
a few months ago and so I decided to go shopping and I got this from Zara. When I saw it, I was like, oh my god, this is exactly what I've been looking for. I haven't really worn it since, but also like it hasn't really been cold. I really like the neckline. So like, I'm gonna keep it. I think I just don't know what to wear this with. I think it's also cute, like one button done up. Keep. The only sweater I have like this, it's like vintage Adidas. I think it's a really cute color combo. I love red and light blue. I feel very like sports. This sweater was gifted to me and I really like it. I just never wear it. And I don't know if it's because it's brand new and I'm afraid to ruin it or what, but I think I should sell it because I never wear it. So it's extremely soft. It's like crazy and it's like really good quality, but yeah. So this is like super nothing special, but I think it sits pretty nicely over like a collared shirt and it's like nice and neutral. It hangs okay. It comes to a good place. Keep. I don't know if you'd call this a sweater or a t-shirt. This is totally not my style, but it came with the other gray cardigan that matches this and I do feel like it's kind of cute having like that one over top of this one it's like cute like they match um so I'm gonna keep it because it's also really soft I don't know what to do about this hoodie I really like it as a concept I never wear it because I don't really like zip up hoodies but also like I think that if I saw someone wearing this I'd be into it so I don't know what to do about it it's a really good wash it's really soft I wear a lot of brown in the fall and I feel like I'm always like that's so lame that sucks why do I look like brown dirt but then I feel like when I see other people wearing brown I'm like nice outfit so maybe I should just lean into it okay I'm gonna keep this I was planning on getting rid of this actually but I realized that I actually like it similarly um, I am gonna keep this one because it fits me really well what I don't like is this is really good like under a jacket the hood is just really nice and then it sits really nicely on top of the jacket also i think it's a really nice like alternative to wearing like a normal like sweatshirt material hoodie so i am gonna keep it too i have been sitting here for so long this is taking me so long to make these decisions i would say that this one is similar to my favorite sweater but it's a different color scheme so, and I also, because my favorite sweater is my favorite sweater, I'm like, well, it only makes sense that I have, like, multiple similar ones, right? It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a little bit long, but, like, also you can do the little fold under thing. I feel that I have to keep it because, I don't know why, because what if I need a black sweater vest? I haven't worn this in, like, a year, probably. But why do I feel like I need it? You know what? I'm gonna keep it, even though I think it might be the wrong choice. I think it's kind of cute. I think it's kind of like nerdy, maybe. It's the only red sweater vest I have. I think, okay, I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna try to wear it and if I can't figure out how to wear it, I'm gonna get rid of it. I always feel like I should just get rid of this sweater because why do I have it? But then for some reason I end up wearing it every winter um, and I'm not really sure why. Maybe this should be the winter that I find. Yeah, this should be the winter that I finally get rid of this. Bye. I could not tell you why I like this sweater. Actually, I think I can tell you why I think I like this sweater. I think it's because it feels like something that a man would wear, but then I'm not sure how that translates to me liking it. I think I just am like, haha, I don't know. I like these things. I kind of like the like exposed stitching. It feels very like casual winter sweater, like casual outfit vibes. I do not know what to do with this sweater. I love this sweater and I hate this sweater. It's cotton, not wool, so it doesn't like pill or anything, so it always looks like pretty crispy, which I like. It's good for taking photos in. What I don't like is the back. I don't like the way that it's just like striped here, and then I also don't like the way that the shoulders like do this thing, which makes me always feel like I look like I'm hunched over. I am hunched over, but like I would like the sweater to make me look better, not worse. Keep. When I first found this sweater, I was like overjoyed. I was like, oh my god, my dream sweater. I love this so much. And then for some reason, I like didn't really wear it again. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's because it's like a little bit loose and so it's hard to wear when it's like winter, winter when you have to wear a jacket. I'm gonna keep it. I like it. This is the kind of sweater that if a man wore this, I'd be like, oh my god, amazing style. So then I should apply that to myself and be like, I look great. Um, 
I don't love the way that the arms sit. It hangs a lot better than some of my other sweaters because a lot of my sweaters are very like vintage um, and they just don't sit that nice. So I feel like this one sits a little bit, I don't know. It feels like this is like easy to make an outfit around somehow. Like it is nice. Okay, this is my only sweater I have that's blue. A sweater that fits me like small, which most of the other ones don't. Do I like it though? I'm like, what if I need a, a bright blue sweater? But like why, who, what situation is gonna come up in my life where I'm like, oh my God, I desperately need a bright blue sweater. Probably never. I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This sweater vest, I wear all the time. I don't like it that much, but it's so soft. It has one of the little, I thrifted it, obviously. It has one of the little tags at the back that's like from an old age, like from a senior's home where they labeled their clothes. This was Vikas Pharma's sweater, and it says delicate hang. Um, I guess that she's probably no longer with us. I wear it all the time, so I'm keeping it. Done. I like the neckline. I'm keeping it. This is the final sweater. The sweater is huge. Um, I also don't really love the color combos, but for some reason I just feel that I have to keep this sweater. Will I really wear it? Probably not. Okay, I'm gonna sell it. Oh, but that makes me sad. No, I'm gonna sell it. Okay, done. Listen, I feel like you might be thinking, wow, you really just kept all your sweaters. No, let me show you. I'm getting rid of all of these ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sweaters I'm getting rid of. I'm not gonna count the ones I'm keeping because I'm gonna feel bad about myself. But I guess these are all gonna be on my Vinted if you want them. Um, I can link you to my Vinted. But, <sighs> okay, I think all of these were the right choice. I don't need, 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 I don't need. In fact, I should probably get rid of more sweaters. But for now, this is what we're working with. Okay, I think I did good. I think also I need to start buying sweaters new is what I need to start doing because I'm realizing like I'm always like, ooh, thrifted sweaters because sweaters are so expensive new. But I'm like, I guess there's a reason why they're so expensive new. Um, and yeah, I think I just have a problem of like having vintage sweaters that are just like a little bit too old and they don't really hang nicely or like they already have a stain or they're just like really itchy so i think this year like my purchase of the cost sweater the really soft red cost sweater i think is like i need to channel that and i need to keep that energy going personally i had a great time uh i actually hated it because i hate going through my clothes but i also love going through my clothes um if you want any of my sweaters they may or may not be still available depending on when I post the sweaters and when I post this video. Thanks for joining me. I should probably do my pants next, to be honest. Isn't it annoying when I keep a sweater that you're like, ugh, that sweater looks bad. Why are you keeping it? Get rid of it. Tell me if there's a sweater that you were like, you shouldn't have kept that one because I'm here for opinions. I feel like sometimes like seeing yourself is very different than seeing somebody else. I also feel like I get sentimentally attached to clothing items, so it can be good for somebody to be like, actually, you know what, that didn't look good on you. And actually, you know what, that's like not even really your style anymore. Why do you still have that? And then I can be like, oh, I just like remember the time that I wore this when I went to Prague for the first time. And for some reason, now I feel attached to like a crazy person. Anyways, um, I'm going to go. I'm going to post all these on Vinted. So. I had a great time. Thanks for watching and listening. Um, my face is so pale right now. I also want to get more tank top. I feel like I feel like there's a huge phase like a couple of years ago, or honestly for like the last five years, of like super high necked tank tops, and I was like all about that. And now I'm like, does this look weird? Like I feel like it's so high. Like my boobs just look so low, and I'm like, I think I need to get like some normal tank tops where do you find good like normal tank tops normal basics i feel like i need good quality normal basics um so maybe that's my next goal task um see you soon bye not my best look that's fine all right i think i actually secretly hate most of my clothes
but it's actually it's not secret. I talk about this all the time. Ugh, I wish there was somebody that goes online shopping. I never online shop. I feel like a criminal when I online shop. I don't think I've bought something online in years. Maybe I should start. The only things I buy online are like vintage. Anyways, goodbye, good night, have a great day.